Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a little Chevy Blazer. This little beauty was made by a company called Kidco. So today I want to spruce this thing up a little bit, put some big mags on there, maybe do a two-tone. Generally clean this thing up. It's in not bad condition. She's well used. If you like square bodies, we just did another one recently. We kind of redid the truck from the fall guy. So I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link up here if you want to watch that one after this. I like this casting. Uh, this truck appears to be either a 79 or an 80. Man, I got gold sparkles all over my bench. Looks like I just came back from a gentleman's club. <laughs> but that's just left over from yesterday's video. I did kind of a walkthrough on how to get some gold leaf lettering on the die cast. So if you didn't watch that video, my first question is why not? Working with gold leaf is a lot of fun. I can't wait to incorporate it into a, a real project. It's like we should probably do a pilot hole on this one. We got bucket seats. Zero dash at all. Okay, okay, we can work with that. A surprisingly fresh looking base. All right. So for wheels today, I'd like to try to fit these big, these big meats on there if I can. They kind of have like a Rubicon looking vibe to them, which I actually kind of dig. Fit the wheel well real nice. They're pretty thick. My wheels just like I like my ladies. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just throw a couple of tubes in here. You know what? It'd be funny if I could just, you think that's going to hold it there just perfectly? feel like it might just hold it there just kind of perfectly. I'm gonna get the back one in there too. I'm okay if this thing sits at factory ride height. I just wanted some some meteor tires to kind of fill out the fill out the old uh, wheel wells there a little bit. Here we got ourselves a nice red green axles. <laughs> we got our axle tubes installed. All right, we're clearly gonna need a lift. Uh, uh, no problemo. So I tried going with a stock ride height, but it didn't work out. So I put the tubes right on the bottom of our base. And when the time comes to re-chrome the base, I'm just going to chrome those tubes and no one will be the wiser. It should just blend right in. So now we're kind of jacked up, but I'm okay with that. I do have another set of wheels. Let me try another set here. They're the same size. We'll save those Jeep wheels, whatever you want to call them, for something else. Oh hell yeah, that's, that's gonna be way cooler. It's got more style. Having the white with the white walls and the chrome wheels. Hell yeah, it even looks like the thing's got shock towers, but it's just the posts of the truck. Pimp, so let me get this stripped. Looks like it's gonna need a little bit more work. This thing's looking pretty crusty. Check out that front fender. Ugh. I got a bunch of areas I gotta clean up on this casting though. We'll just get started up on that for now. Part of me really wants to get another square body in my life. Maybe we'll get rid of the Tahoe this summer and see if I can't find a nice little square body truck to bomb around in. That'd be cool, man. <laughs> Crusty, this thing's kind of junky. Could use a little extra help trying to get this body line on this fender fixed up. So I'm gonna grab one of my diamond burrs and use a little bit of Dremel power. All right, I got most of my filing done. I think she's looking pretty good now. I have to do quite a bit of work on those front fenders. 
to get her body lines back, but she's looking all right. One thing I would like to purchase, I would notice that I, I would probably have used it on this particular casting was, I think I might pick up one of those jeweler saws. I think it would have been very useful just so I could run it along this edge and just true up the line in between the cab and the topper there. I didn't really have anything that small. Plus, I mean, I could also experiment, try cut up some castings and stuff. A lot of people swear by those things. I might get one of those in my future. I've never had one before. This all scuffed up, ready to accept some paint. Ah, so much better. I like that they did the hood properly. That means a lot to me, Kitco. So I'm gonna head over to the spray booth. So I got our base here all cleaned up. I just gave this a good scrub with some soapy water and a toothbrush. I'm ready to do a little bit of Malantau liquid chrome on this bad boy now. Put a couple drops in the old chrome section here. I'm gonna be pretty liberal. Pretty liberal, man. This should look real good. Once we get everything coated, we'll throw it in the oven. Let it bake for a little bit. I've got our base all recoated. Bumpers are looking smooth. Grill's looking nice. I got it all over my gloves. As you can see, I ended up going with like a light silver on our truck and I plan on doing silver and charcoal, two tones. So I wanna have charcoal top, charcoal roof, and our center section on our body is gonna be charcoal too. So it's kind of like a reversal of like what you'd expect. I was looking on Instagram and uh, there was a real beautiful blazer that had something similar. It was like light gray and black, but I think charcoal is gonna be just as sweet too, so. Let us start masking here and see if we can't make this happen. It's gonna look a little goofy in the front here because we're missing a few inches of our fender. You can see they kind of cut that back a little bit. So the fender should come out to about there. So you guys are gonna just have to blame it on the casting if it looks a little bit goofy today. So we'll get a nice piece of vinyl here. Do 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 do. Then on the bottom, it should be halfway through the wheel wells. I'm gonna use a thinner vinyl for the bottom because it's gonna, I think it's gonna get around these um, fender flares and stuff a little bit easier. I'll go down a size here. This is a 0.75 millimeter vinyl. Should be a little bit easier. Working on all these Yat Mings and these kind of cheap Hong Kong die casts has really given me good practice for when eventually I get a, like a nice high quality like Hot Wheels square body. We'll be able to just do it up like, like a couple of professionals instead of bush aping it with all these Yat Mings like we've been doing for the past few weeks. I don't mind the practice. You guys probably enjoy the videos. So, What's that? You think this line is drooping in the back a little bit? You're right. Let us correct it. Mm. Does that look straight as narrow? No? You don't like? Okay, me neither. a little bit better. Push all those down. Get that looking good. All right, now comes the tricky part. I'm trying to isolate our roof and our little topper on the back there, which is gonna be a little bit stressful, but All right, so we can clearly see where my vinyl is now, right? So I'm gonna just lightly score my tape. B 
being careful not to cut through the vinyl, obviously. I'm going to just keep on doing that very thing. I'm going to just keep masking this thing up and get it ready for doing a little two-tone and it'll come back and we'll head back to the spray booth. All right, I'm going to say I got this beat. doesn't really look like much with mat mismatched tape and stuff, but, uh, you know, she should look good once we get a little bit of charcoal on there. So I'm going to jam a bunch of paper towel up in there to kind of protect the inside. I don't want a bunch of overspray all over the place, so... Put a little paper towel up in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and meet you in the spray booth and we're gonna spray this two-tone. Back to the spray booth. The charcoal job went on pretty easy. I love this charcoal paint. This stuff's amazing. See how she's looking. Are these nice crispy lines satisfying in any way? Is this like ASMR? For people that go crazy when there's like paint spillage. Hell yeah man, that looks like a blazer now. So I'm at the point now where I just have a couple little details to do. I want to do these humongous door handles, by the way. Look at those things, those are like eight inches. So at least a couple inches longer than what the uh, the average would be. All right, I did some basic details here. And I'm just gonna head over to the spray booth and give this a nice little clear coat. We'll be able to come back and I think we can do an assembly. I just got to paint the running lights on our grill. And that's about it. As you can see, I painted our interior black. And I got our little details done. I'm ready to do an assembly. So just give me a second. We'll have a look at this Chevy Blazer. It's gonna be huge. So what do you guys think of my Chevy Blazer now? I think she looks great considering it's an El Cheapo casting. I really like bringing those back from the dead. I don't know why. It's like if I can find a cheap casting that's got good detail on it, I'm, I'm happy to use it. Man, look at that charcoal metallic. That stuff works great. I didn't add those sparkles to the charcoal. It just comes like that. And our white has a certain amount of flake too. I don't know how well it's showing up for you guys. The whole show here is uh, recorded through a 3-inch viewfinder. So if you wonder why some shots are ever out of focus, that's, um, you know, that's part of it. I like it. I was a little bit too scared to try to tint the glass. I don't have a real good method for doing that yet. I'm still experimenting with things and I've ruined a couple a couple windshields in the past so I decided to let it slide on this one. I didn't want to risk it. The body turned out too nice for me to risk it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. You seen that sparkle now? Hell yeah man. Look at that thing.